Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Gruber. We're on a five win streak. Who was our last run? I'll do the unprofessional thing that I do and go check the folder just to make sure I want to keep the cycle going, you know, legitimately. Uh, that'll be this video. Gotta give it a second. Everybody! Welcome back. I was like, playing. Why don't you just say Maggie, the way a normal person Which means that we are due for an Eden run this time, which is exciting news. Alright, let's do it. I like doing that stuff on the fly, lends a certain je ne sais quoi. Alright, we got the map. I guess I could have told this right from the get-go. Is this a Curse of the Labyrinth? It is. We got the map, we got JP143764, and of course we have Dad's Key as well. Um, all of my stats look not so good, but actually Rate of Fire might not be that bad. It's also my favorite movie that stars both Matthew McConaughey and uh, Christian Bale, and Isabella Skorupko, released in 2003 about you know, a, a London that exists in a post-apocalyptic universe uh, where the world is ruled by dragons. Anyway, I don't love this start, I'm just gonna be honest with you. The map is good, but if you had to quantify it, you know, the map, or mapping, I should say, is not really scarce. You can oftentimes get map, blue map, or compass, or the mind on a run. That's not really that big of a deal. That's not an item room there. Um, so, really what this did is it, it gave us a decent shop item and saved us 15 cents. If we started with 15 cents and our shop had the map in it, we'd be like, uh, that's okay, but it's, you know, nothing to write home about. I'm happy to have it, you know, there, there are worse items for sure, but Dad's Key is interesting, but ultimately doesn't really help us survive or kill enemies, at least in the early game. So it'll be interesting to see how this works out, and similarly, Little Chad, not really the item that I'm most uh, ultimately excited about here, also gives us no survivability temporarily and no ability to kill enemies. Now don't take this as me just being a negative northern lion here. My uh, my ultimate goal here is to come out with a win and we have we have some decent underlying baseline for making that happen. We will be able to get into item rooms and shops even if we don't have keys. We'll be able to see probably where our boss fights are. We'll be able to generate red hearts. Maybe we can pick up a dark bomb to make this worthwhile or maybe we can just get some HP to make it worthwhile. I'll take it. Keeps all of our stats balanced for the entire game, which I think will do basically nothing for us right now, but uh, if we pick up some items, it might get very, very interesting. In fact, it might get terrible. I still don't quite understand, Libra. It balances your stats for the... What I, what I need to do is stop like picking up Libra and then theorizing about what it does in these videos, but I know what it does on a, like, a pseudo-code level, if you will. Um, might as well go for this. I know that it balances your stats, and I know that it keeps your stats balanced for the duration of the game. What I don't know is exactly mathematically how that works. I am a little scared here. Just, okay, I think we got enough momentum and it looked like we did. Dad's key also found us the secret room. There we got both starter deck and uh, humbling bundle. So we gotta take humbling bundle. If we get the chance to take starter deck, I would like to as well. But uh, the humbling bundle pickup is fantastic here. Make sure you weave your way through there and get that. Um, in fact, we should not have gone to the secret room. And, well, we shouldn't have picked up the money in the secret room until we bombed our donation machine and then picked up Humbling Bundle. We would have gotten like an extra, you know, six or seven cents out of that and then probably had enough to get starter deck. That's okay. You live and learn. Uh, you know what? I should have just... I'm going to just use Hangman. Explosive Diarrhea. There's some irony in that, I'll admit. Very important to get a deal with the devil here, but the only way we won't get a deal with the devil is if we don't survive, so... I'm thinking, probably we just see if there's a special room down here, and there's not. Uh, we'll use our chariot card against the most difficult boss, and... As long as we don't get hit too much against the other boss, we should be fine, but we're on an XL Cellar, so... The odds of us not fighting the Haunt or Fissula are extremely, extremely bad. Double keys, I like it. Uh, let's do it. We're gonna start with pin, easy enough. That very nearly hit me. That didn't even come close to hitting him. It worked! Okay, the three bombs is enough here. One miss, two hit. Should be easy enough for me to get out of this without getting hit now. Pick up Placenta. It's okay. And then Blighted Ovum is like the perfect uh, chariot use. Because he's going to rush us down anyway. And then the box. Uh, with a Spirit Heart in it, which means we could take a Spirit Heart focused deal with the Devil. 
High Priestess and Pill, whatever Pill is. I'll take it. I was just going to say thank you for not being Bad Trip. I'd already programmed that into my mind, and then it was Bad Trip. So you know what? Fuck you for being Bad Trip. That doesn't help me out at all here. Uh, this is... it's this is a tough one. Let's just be honest about it. This is not an easy situation to find ourselves in two floors deep. We got Brother Bobby. What are our positives? Let's focus on our positives. Well... Humbling Bundle. <laughs> Deal with the Devil Precedent. Dad's Key is, uh, well, I mean, we have ten keys. And Libra, however that is gonna manifest itself, could be good for us, especially if we do end up picking up, like, soy milk, for example. Apart from that, uh, you know, this is still not a fantastic place to be as Eden. Celtic Cross will be helpful. I'm not, uh, disappointed in that. I sh I used a key, and then I used Dad's key after, but I used Dad's key to kind of find the secret room. Apologies, by the way, I know I'm kind of not enunciating this properly as I I would like to be. Um, still, jaw is a little bit sore here. No danger of complications, to the best of my knowledge. Okay, don't sh Well, I mean, you can shoot the thing that gives you full health. What do I care? Uh, no danger of dental complications here, but uh, still a little sore from the wisdom teeth extraction. Can't be bad trip. Okay, that, that worked out. Although, at the time, it looked a little bit dangerous as well. Um, we need some kind of damage increase. That's just, you know, you always need some kind of damage increase, and we also need some kind of damage increase on this run. Surprise, surprise. A little weird interaction there, but we got out of it. Gotta kill the bat first. Um, we're not gonna be able to survive for too long on base damage, which was not particularly strong and nothing else, so it's a awkward position to find ourselves in here. Just don't get hit again, like that, I can understand getting hit once here, I probably should have used High Priestess, but I irrationally maybe was saving it for the boss fight. Okay, we'll definitely get Mom's Key, uh, I think we have enough to kind of blow this guy up and hope for pennies, okay. Since we have counterfeit penny, I mean, I hate to be cruel to our donation machine, but it's gonna be awesome for us here. I think I also just used a key to get into our shop. You gotta forgive me. I'm terrible when it comes to remembering to use Dad's key for key-based reasons. Alright, well, we are coming close to our boss fight. I don't really, I mean, we don't need to deal with the devil, but it would be nice for our future if we could get a deal with the devil. And if we don't, that's what I was looking for right there. Uh, if we don't, we really need to pick up some kind of DPS increase, or this run is going to be, you know, dead before it has a chance to really get off the ground. Just not quite enough yet to really even carry us through the early game. That is perhaps somewhat helpful if we can get like nine lives in here. So Gertie is tanky enough that I feel totally uh, justified in doing that. I think we should try to stay nearish to the front. Uh, and now we'll just do whatever the hell we want. <laughs> Originally, I was like, this is bad, but, you know, I don't want to shoot the, uh, nubs, because we'll just kill them later. Might as well not kill them and then have them have a chance to respawn anyway. I forgot that we had some bombs that we can definitely justify using offensively. That didn't hit Gertie because of the fact that Gertie's hitbox is super small relative to its overall size. Don't get hit, man. Okay, Blood Clot is at least a damage up, and I can't take either of these. Ugh. Let's get out of here. We're actually going really quickly, but it's because that first floor allowed me, because it was an XL floor, allowed me to shave off like three minutes. I'm not worried about boss rush at all. I just don't want to go to any rooms we don't have to go to because, you know, I don't I don't trust that we're going to survive that long if we employ that strategy of being really exhaustive. You know, I always say, like, if you're ahead of the uh, the curve, explore every room for sure because you're going to gain advantages, but... I, I don't know if we have the speed necessary to get out of here. And I could be wrong, but I don't think this is Libra's doing. Like, I don't think picking up Libra is what has me in this somewhat compromised position right now. I think it's just, uh... Like, how could it? We've, we haven't picked up, like, any stat upgrades since then except for Blood Clot. And I guess Blood Clot... What, does that mean Libra essentially, for my own purposes, bear with me here? Oh, jeez. Now we're down to one Spirit Heart. Doesn't that mean that Libra makes, like, all attribute based pickups instead of HP all stat upgrades instead of HP oh good we're one hit away from death come on don't fuck this up we got Guppy's Collar we could come back I don't want to have to resort to that 
This is how fucked up this run is. This this should be like an easy room. I find myself being like, man, I hope I don't die against this human popcorn and like turret that normally dies in two hits. This is one of those runs where we're ahead of the curve for boss rush. Not that I don't even want to go to boss rush. I'm not even entertaining the thought, but um, we're ahead of the curve for it. And then one floor goes by, and all of a sudden we've gone from like two minutes ahead to five minutes behind. Yeah, we gotta try for this, especially with humbling bundle and mom's key for that matter. Oh, we get a single pill, and it's speed down. Fantastic. And then our shop, the last bastion for uh, us being able to pick up a spirit heart and maybe survive a little bit longer is a uh, greed fight. Fantastic. It's not like, it's weird because this run is not like, you know, guillotine, well, not guillotine, like Isaac's heart, Ipecac or something like that where it's just hopeless. This one has given us just enough hope to make me feel bad if I die. All right, well we are up to 16 cents. Maybe if we find the shop, oh wait, we can't. That is not a secret room either. Well, no matter what, we are on some relative form of big room next with uh, no bombs to back us up. Please, don't don't hurt me. Thank you. Just, yeah, I don't care if you blow up the mushrooms, just don't hurt me. We can go to either of those rooms after this. Both of them scare the shit out of me. Uh, well, and actually, that's not true. I can't go to the curse room unless we... Uh, Oh shit, they're both free. After 10,000 beers, I'm free! Oh my god, I lived. I had more HP than I thought. Also, I never thought that he would have had the momentum to get up there, but... Jesus Christ. Now we've got to be on one. We must have only taken a half heart against that one enemy I fought. You could argue there there is a, a potential, like, Gwyneth Paltrow sliding doors moment on this run right now. If we had not taken Brother Bobby, saved our red heart with Placenta, Maybe, I mean, like, definitely our survivability would be better. I don't really want to do that. I mean, you can understand why you would. Shit, we'll do it. Come on, work with me. Nine lives right off the bat. Yo, a troll bomb is, like, real bad. My speed is so bad. Speaking of which, fighting against super fast chub is real bad. Okay, we got it yet. Oh, good. Just in time to take care of the uh, riffraff here. Oh, I don't know if I can get out of the way, man. And then the other one is freaking Spider Bros. This run, I mean, I, I hate it. We'll restart as our Eden run. Piercing Shots, Lemon Mishap. Let's show the seed here. H9CD Q6PX. Maybe my coffee is cool enough to drink. It's getting there. This is a much better start. It wasn't even, like, I'm not mad at the Eden start last time. Although, I was negative, like, right from the get-go there. But I don't I don't buy the negative attitude having much to do with that. I buy, like, having, like, really shit items over the course of, like, four floors for having to do with that. Odd Mushroom. Oh, my God. Skinny Odd Mushroom piercing shots and a decent spacebar item along with decent starting stats. Eden is trying to make up for that last round. And I, you know what? I appreciate it. I would love to give you the opportunity to do so. Okay. We're gonna keep moving it along here. Range down doesn't really matter all that much. I gotta, here's what I gotta do. I gotta keep myself from just rushing unnecessarily, but I will probably just exit the floor like now, as soon as I fight the boss. Ah, it didn't work out. I was hoping for like an eternal heart there. That was, I can't believe that I thought I had the perfect plan, and then I hit neither of them with Lemon Mishap, until the end, in which case that guy got fucked pretty hard by it right there. And then I got hit by them as well, but that's okay. We've got survivability, we've got decent damage, and beyond that, killing power. We got HP, these are all things we didn't have at any point in our last run. Alright, I, I wanted to go to that, don't get me wrong, but we can't justify it just yet. Whoa. Little dangerous. Let's not throw. We're, we're on like a whole different run here. I'm not gonna worry too much about the streak that we just lost. What it's all about for us is uh, making sure that we win on this run, you know, starting up a, a brand new streak. And most importantly, perhaps, not getting hit on a freaking stupid uh, room here so that we can still get a deal with the devil and maybe leverage some of our existing HP to help us out. I'm actually. Oh, it's like the least salty I've been about a loss in a long time because I 
can't believe I got hit twice there. The writing was very much on the wall. I think for that run. That was a, a tough Eden run to succeed on after we saw what items we also got. But um, I will say there's a little... Oh my god, are you kidding me? We gotta get some ability to fly then. There is a little bit of pressure on me here. Ideally, to, to beat this run so it's not just like, oh, Northern Line was playing s shitty. See, he lost on the run right after anyway. Um, I think we'll take both. And you know what? I know uh, I love uh, Guppy's head, but because we don't take it that often, we'll take Lemon Mishap. That's too good to pass up, man. I've got to get like a Hanged Man card or something. Let's shoot all this and see if we can get some pennies. Our rate of fire is high enough that this is easy. We got a Guppy item. You got to remember that because we uh, aren't going to be holding the Guppy item. We've used Guppy's collar a lot lately. Oh. Guppy's head, I should say, a lot lately. Um, and Guppy's collar, although it didn't even bring us back on that last run. We gotta, like, try to buy a Hanged Man card, which is ridiculous, because I don't even, you know, I, I got, like, nothing going for that here. What was that? That was flies? Ugh. Okay, use this. Hope for a bomb. Or a Hanged Man card directly. Shit. Well, I guess we're leaving behind Dark Bomb and Scorpio here. I don't know if there's much I could have done about it. I was really hoping for some kind of deal with the devil on the, or a uh, flying item on the deal with the devil, but sadly... No such luck. That's one of the best rooms like that, or one of the best situations like that I've ever seen, but we're not going to be able to do it. That's okay. That should mean, probably, that we're not able to get Dark Bomb ever on this run, which is a little disappointing. That's alright. I've already thrown away my survivability, by the way, but I've done it to make ourselves, you know, very, very creepy. Which is not to say, you know, we're saying things we shouldn't be saying to people we shouldn't be saying them to. Rather, we just generate a lot of creep here, you know? We got Lemon Mishap, we got uh, Headless Baby. We got a lot of creepalicious items here. It, it'll be interesting to see if we can build a run based on that. The poop is just not good enough. You know, Stuart Smalley used to say, you're good enough, you're smart enough, and god dang it, people like you. Well, with the poop, it's like kind of inverted. For some reason, people like you, but you are neither good enough uh, nor smart enough. You're literally just, you're, you're a piece of poop. Oh my god. Don't freaking throw it this easily. This is not how I go. We're not going to big fish this one up, okay? There we go. Be safe here. Be smart. Starting to think that maybe I should not have taken the Headless Baby pickup. The uh, Guppy's Head pickup, of course, but... Okay, you didn't sneak a shot out there. This is good. This is good. My fucking body is broken. What is wrong with me? I can't leave this run without having, like, some success here. We got How to Jump and the... Not the Mind is all we know about this. I am actually, like, I'm embarrassed, and I think I should be embarrassed. This has been extremely poor run of form lately, and Eden is just rocking my bitch ass like the fucking Beatles. I don't know where I was going with that. Now the game is just taking pity on me. It's like, whether it gave me the soul or the body, it's like, okay, you can't get past the early game, you're a piece of shit. Uh, Here's some stuff that will help you out, and, you know, we're gonna play Baby's First Isaac here, and I'm, I'm happy to play some Baby's First Isaac, you know, if it'll help me get Super Bandage Goo Goo Gaga. How to jump, I do not ever really remember to use effectively. If you thought Dad's key was bad, this is gonna be much worse. This is why I shouldn't record before, like, having that coffee inside of my system, man. It turns out it's a huge detriment here. And this is, I'm not making bad strategic choices, I'll, the headless baby pickup maybe. Mostly I'm just sucking the big one when it comes to dodging. And I have no excuse on that second run. If I didn't, if I like, didn't die on the second run, I might have an excuse. But that second run was acceptable, maybe even good, and I threw it uh, just by not dodging. It's embarrassing. Alright. Look, that's a little embarrassing as well, but we're gonna choose to not think about it too much. This is a good run as well. I mean, it doesn't really matter what uh, what that uh, Holy Trinity item is. I would prefer it to be the map, but whether... Oh, it is the soul. We can see because the bullets being shot at us are being redirected. So we'll, we'll have a ton of spirit hearts here. That's what I was going to say. Like, either of those really help out for um, early deals with the devil. And apparently, that's good because I'm going to need, like, brimstone or 
mom's knife early on in order to have a chance of winning here. Now this is all about morale. Previously, you know, in vanilla, if I had to start like this, I probably would have just like scrapped the video. It only happened like once a month, once every few weeks, but I'd scrap the video and then just start over. But here, man, no such luck. We gotta give it our all. It's all on camera. This is not really what I was looking for. Luck up. Tears up. Amnesia. Health up. That's fantastic. The game is taking pity on me, and you know what? I appreciate it. I don't like being uh, 20 minutes into the video and being on the basement part one. That's life, though, I guess, man, as we head down to the next floor. Alright, Curse of the Maze. This is a staggering amount of HP. We may not have piercing shots like we did on the last run, but there's not a whole lot I can complain about here. Oh, but I don't have five cents. I can't get a blood bank on this floor. Bum, bum, ba -dum. We're going to get a deal with the devil. I know that I've had some, like, well, not amazing ones early, but okay ones. Please, game, continue to provide those to me. I now have the means with which to, to grab those and, you know, take the bull by the horns. Why don't we just do this? And you know what? We could probably jump in there and get those, so I'm going to try. Extra two cents there. We very nearly lost a spirit heart, but... You know, there's no safer time to do that. We've got like eight hearts and six of them are spirit hearts. Not eight hearts and six spirit hearts. That would be above the HP cap. Careful. Careful. All right, let's move it along here. Did you guys see the new uh, Afterbirth update? That the Lost is going to start with D4 and uh, Spectral Tears? Spectral Tears, I think, is a no-brainer. D4, I get. I would have preferred the D6, but that's... Because I love the D6. I love it mechanically. I, I love it strategically. I really like that item. Um, but it would make it just like a shitty version. Well, not shitty, but you know what I mean. A harder version of Isaac. And if you're not going to call it like, you know, Super Isaac or Mega Isaac or something like that, then what does it freaking matter? Um, take this as well. Uh, so it, it's cool that the character is a little thematically different now as well. It'll make the Lost a little bit easier, as someone who has beaten the Lost, you know, in normal conditions, as normal as they can be for the Lost anyway, I don't really care. You know, I think it's I think it's a good thing. Make that character a little bit more viable, so at least when you get the Lost, you, you recognize in your mind that there is a chance you'll succeed. You still probably won't on the average run, but, you know, being able to D4 yourself into some, some good stuff could be uh, really useful. I feel like now you, you've got a little bit more, like, you've got more tickets in the lottery to get Holy Mantle. Not so much nine lives, because I don't know if you can reroll into those guppy items. Um, but you could actually, you could get nine lives and then reroll into something else. But I think it's, it's better um, this way. I think it'll make people less angry. It'll make the Lost actually like a playable, somewhat viable character. Anyway, for now, let's kill Larry Jr. We're still not, you know, really... Anything to write home about damage-wise here. I think that's pretty obvious. Uh, and we're going to fight Krampus in our first boss fight here. With relatively poor damage, this is not uh, necessarily great. I mean, you saw how long it took us to take Larry Jr. On our last run, we probably could have killed Larry Jr. in like, uh, I don't know, four or five hits because of the piercing shots. But I digress. On the last run, we were also dead before we even got to this point, really. Well, that's not totally true. And Lump of Coal is a good pickup here. And I think it's fair punishment. If I end up, uh, you know, dying twice on a run, the game gives me a slow run. It's only fair. The thing that I hate most in this uh, game, runs where you never really get momentum. I'm not saying this is going to be one of those runs, but runs where you start slow. Let's put it that way. I think it's fair to, to banish me to that and force me to prove myself before we uh, move along. In a way, this is actually good because I had that one Eden run where I died twice and it never ended up being able to be uploaded because the audio was all sorts of fucked up. So now you get to see me at my worst. I thought the last run was going to be at my worst, but uh, apparently not. I don't think we have Deal with the Devil precedent, which means we could get some interesting stuff going on with the uh, Deals with the Angel. We're actually not going that slowly, it just feels like it because I'm 25 minutes into the video. Yeah, okay. So, huge damage upgrade. Really fucks with Lump of Coal, which we just picked up, but I really like it in case we get flies in the game. That's the, the ultimate kind of tipping factor for me in why I take Eve's Mascara. Duh, come on, dude. Don't fuck with me like this. I just want to go to the exit. I'm not trying to cause any problems. Head down to the next floor. 
Drink a little caffeine syrup. Sounds like some kind of like futuristic George Orwell like narcotic that the the government's got us on. Because it's always the government, man. Can we kill these guys in one hit? What do you think? Yes, okay. How far away do we have to be? Not very far at all. That's good news. Our rate of fire is is pretty not good, even with that tiers upgrade, because of the tiers downgrade we just picked up. But I think this is the basis for a good run. I think we can make it work. I think we can swing it. Extra tiers and shot speed would not be the end of the world. Oh, that's great. Okay. The guppy dream is starting to come to fruition here. I don't know if you... I thought you could, like, jump at the same time you went through the door and not take damage or something. I might be crazy, though. Okay, put this down here. And then knock it out of the way. But pick up some stuff anyway. Health down. Fantastic. That's a really important one. Um... That's one you always want to get, uh, so that you know, I'm trying to put a positive spin on it, so that you know in the future that if you get it, you can use it under certain conditions as a health upgrade. The health down pill is a really good opportunity to break even. I know this looks like I'm really bad right now, and I, you know, my performance in this video doesn't uh, counter that. However, we also just have such a small rate of fire, low rate of fire, it's very difficult to hit mobile enemies. But there's not much I can do apart from that, you know, I can't, like, run into them with Sacrificial Dagger. As much as I would love to. This is painful. Please. A deal with the devil on this floor would mean so much to me. Like a birthday. Or a pretty view. And then you look and you see it's all for you. Her name is Eden and she's making me look bad. If I lose this third run, I'll probably be sad. But when she shines, she really makes me feel glad. Oh, sweetest Eden. She's the best I've ever had. That's the best I could do on short notice. I needed something to, to energize me there. And what better? than the self-titled track from Duran Duran's Rio album. There we go, there's our health upgrade. The game liked it. Capricorn, the game loved it. We're ready to go. Was that Rio? I love that song. Who doesn't, man? Who doesn't love the virtuosic, virtu the drumming of the Duran Duran's virtuoso? You like how I use the soul there? Get myself in a good position. We don't need another Spirit Heart. That'll be overkill. Unnecessary. Oh. Can't hit what you can't see, Spider Bros. This is a very, like, kind of quiet and linear floor here. I can't believe that worked, and I can't believe what we got out of it. All of a sudden, we got unlimited deals, man. Am I gonna fight Mega Satan? That might provide like a small semblance of uh, redemption on this run. We have to see if we actually get a uh, an angel room though. I'm not skeptical. Oftentimes the game seems to punish you with an angel room after giving you a deal with the devil where you couldn't have taken an item anyway. The hollow, very, very easy. Did he just get deflected because of the soul? Something about that looked weird. That's what we need, because the soul's not good enough and the hollow's not bad enough. Let's give an item and boss specific nerf. Or buff, I guess, to the soul. Nerf to the hollow. What did I tell you? Of course there's going to be an angel room. We get the relic. The relic's pretty good. So key pieces, I was mistaken. Kate informed me I was mistaken here. Key pieces do not function as deal with the angel precedent. Even though I told you that they do. They might increase your chances, but they don't function as precedent necessarily. Man, even with that Capricorn pickup, we are just not very great here. Desperately in need of some kind of tears upgrade. Shot speed wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. These enemies just... Okie dokie. They move so slightly. Their hitbox changes, or like, oh, their hitbox moves, and then all of a sudden I can't find myself doing damage anymore. That Eve's Mascara pickup was a dumb idea. For now. Maybe at some point it'll be glorious. 
That relic pickup is really, really great. I mean, I am super desperately not in need of defense, but it's not like we have a reroll anyway. This is going to be like a two and a half hour long video. This is ridiculous. 30 minutes, we're on the freaking caves part one, but we do have Necronomicon, or not Necronomicon, Goathead. I can't hit him. Our shots are too small for the very slow speed at which we output them. Oh my god, I thought for sure he was gonna die. I misjudged it by one fucking hit. Does the relic carry it? No, it does not. Okay. Time to go down to the next floor. Exciting. Catacombs 2. Only, uh, you know, about eight minutes behind schedule. Obviously, that's ridiculous. You get the idea, though. The sentiment is the same. Okay. Sneak in here. Good and great stuff. Try it again. This guy's going to take about 30 hits. I'm glad he didn't explode into anything that could have been deleterious to my chances. Ah! Try it again. There we go. We really like... That Eve's Mascara pickup was insidious, man. It was subtly terrible. If you could, perhaps, pop your head out. Thank you. Because not only, like, it not only made my DPS worse, I think because when I miss, it just hurts so bad. That's the flip side of, like, well, if you hit all the time, you do great damage. If you miss, you get shit on. Hopefully I didn't fuck up an arcade for us there, but, you know, I, I got blinded by the HP and got excited. Um, but also, it made uh, Lump of Coal so much worse. Oh, this is gonna be great. Please. There we go. That's by far the fastest damage we're gonna be able to do to Carrying Queen, like, this whole time. Get ready. Oh, uh, yep. That's okay. I mean, we can afford to take extra damage if it makes the fight go faster, but I really don't want to lose this Eternal Heart. But I... It's like Mask of Infamy, man. I can't really... Uh... Hit it. My shot speed is so low. If you go fast enough, you can sort of sneak in there at the end, but you can also end up taking damage in the process there. Please. Carrying Queen. Let the RNG gods be kind today. I, d I really don't want to fight uh, the angel. I guess we don't have to do it right now. We can do it uh, at the end of this floor once we have a bomb, actually. Come on. Come on. God dang it. We only get like one crack at this. It's so hard to land this shot. Luke Skywalker, eat your fucking Jedi heart out. Spoilers, eat your heart out. This is a extremely tough situation. I can't, I can't, I'm just gonna fire endlessly. No, that's a bad decision. What we gotta do is we gotta predict where he's gonna be and then get close. What is, what was blocked? What was my guardian angel there? That was crazy. Not very smart. Okay, we're about to lose this Eternal Heart. I'm embarrassed. But at the same time, I'm also very, very, I don't know, disappointed is a good word for the feelings that are entering my body right now. Yeah, there we go. Goodbye, Eternal Heart. All we can do now is focus on survival. Now, you're going to say, Northern Line, you're playing so badly. And there's nothing I can say about my performance on this run that would make you feel differently there. We've already got two deaths. But my god, this incredibly low rate of fire... It's the first time I've ever felt this absolutely fucked by Eve's Mascara. And it's partly a result of just fighting like an asshole boss. He's always an asshole. Thank you for giving me these bombs right away, by the way. I was very eager to fight the uh, angel, as I recently mentioned. Holy Mantle honestly seems like a cruel joke here. Don't take this as me complaining, okay? I'm very happy that we got Holy Mantle. It's going to be a huge help for us. If we're going to win, Holy Mantle is going to be an integral part of that. 
However, it also feels like a cruel joke because we have all these defensive items and meanwhile I fire like one shot every 10 seconds and it takes forever to fucking kill anything. We need extra damage. There's just no like way about it. I'm not going to be able to fight Mega Satan on this run. Not with damage like this. Are you seeing how long it takes me to kill a freaking angel statue? It's ridiculous. This all being said, Holy Mantle is still undoubtedly one of the best items in the game. But it's getting a little absurd. We need some kind of damage upgrade, man. We need a lot of damage upgrades. This run's not gonna solve itself. There's no question about that. Oh, we got. Now we didn't ruin the uh, arcade for ourselves. Amazing. Now the relic's holding the key. I guess it just doesn't hold the individual key pieces. Thank you, old bandage. You at least uh, found it in your heart to pay out once. I don't think I should push my luck too much here. Oh yeah, no bombs because I used them all to actually have a chance to kill that angel statue. So we'll move along here. Come on, red candle, man. I think that's what we gotta do. Um, red candle would be a huge lifesaver for us. We didn't get it, that's okay. Let's make our way to our item room. We've already done what should be the hard part on this floor. Oh my god, the soul really came through in the clutch there. You know, I'm complaining a lot, so I want to give credit where credit is due as well. And the soul saved me some guaranteed damage right there. Okay. That's pretty good as well. We will get that red heart, but I want to wait until we do our boss room. Oh my god, boss trap room. If we do our boss trap room. Are you fucking kidding me, though? You must be. This is ridiculous. Uh, Bob's Rotten Head in our item room. That's not that exciting, in case you were curious as to my feelings on getting Bob's Rotten Head in our item room. Um, well, the first thing I said was, whoa, Bob's Rotten Head, I never see that item. That's unusual. And then I said, hmm, I guess how to jump. Definitely one of the best offensive items in the game is a little bit more palatable for us right now than Bob's Rotten Head. So that's what we're going to stick with. Not to be overly sarcastic or anything like that. Okay, well, at least we're, you know, one-shotting these guys. You know, one-shotting them is about the same speed as, like, ten-shotting with a normal rate of fire, but it is what it is. We got some more spirit hearts. Uh, I'm not super uh, thrilled or thinking that's too amazing here, but with Holy Mantle, that does extend our survivability. Now we come back. I'm going to try for Magic Mushroom. Sort of worked. Um, pretty fly. Hey, that's pretty good. Uh, now we come back and we try to get into that Boss Rush room. Boss Trap room. Boss Rush is already a distant pipe dream. We are literally five and a half minutes behind schedule. And honestly, it feels right now like it's just going to get worse. So, let's uh, not get too down on ourselves right away. But also, fuck. I don't really want to do that. Just not quite enough in there for me. Alright, well, here we go. Depths or Necropolis 1. Please don't be an XL floor. We have to seriously take advantage of all the uh, deals with the devil we can get. I thought maybe that'd get that mushroom. That's a lot of money. Could get starter deck. What do you think? How to jump starter deck? I think we'll go starter deck. Yeah, that was a really good idea, but we have Holy Mantle, thankfully. Um, Empress... Hanged man. Take the Empress with us. Three cents to get our crack at it seemed better. I tried to jump over that. You probably heard the space bar. That was just me having a little joke, a little giggle, as I like to do from time to time. We're almost unhittable, but we're almost unable to hit as well. It's a weird, uh, weird dichotomy we got on this run. Not that interested. I got a good amount of money right now. I can be excited about that. We can build upon that in the future. Hey, let's do it. I'm like 30% excited. All right, depths one. No XL floor. The game gods have been temporarily kind, like a built to spill parody. I need to, we can do this without getting a rate of fire upgrade. What it requires is just picking up so much goddamn damage that every enemy dies in one hit, or almost every enemy dies in one hit. If we have to take two hits to hit an enemy, it's too late. Like, we're screwed. They're gonna have wait. It takes four seconds for us to do that if we hit both of them. 
It's not a great... Like, this is the worst, man. I'm using the Emperor's card to fight Fistula just because it'll give me a small rate of fire increase. Our damage is good, but... And you'll say, hey, hey, hey why you sh this is why you never pick up Eve's Mascara, because, you know, fucking only a Sith deals in absolutes or something like that. But this is the worst, man. Goathead is great, but to exclusively get, like, non-stats upgrades except for Capricorn, I'll admit. But Capricorn really only took us to a good Eden start. Like, if we had Cap we if we had Capricorn and we compared that to, like, our damage at the start of that run two runs ago, the Eden run two runs ago, that we died on, admittedly. That's not a trump card, necessarily. Um, we would be probably in a better position on that Eden run. Or we'd be in an equivalent position. Capricorn doesn't automatically win you the game. It just gives you an all stats up. And we started below where we normally would be. The speed plus damage upgrade here is extremely valuable. Thank you. I appreciate it. If you were feeling underappreciated, Isaac, I appreciate it. Thank you. Let's move along. Two hits should be enough to get the job done. And by two, of course, I mean three. Hanged Man exists. Uh, and we'll use that for some purpose that we are just not aware of right now. Where's our Timon and Judgment? Was he... Is this Curse of the... This is no curse. He already paid out. Okay, right, right, right. He paid out quickly. I forgot. Even though I was just thanking him profusely. This is starting to feel doable now that we have growth hormones. What the best case scenario, and perhaps even most likely case scenario, is that we get a deal with the devil now. We've already gotten all the deals with the angel that we want, necessarily, unless they want to give us the truly premier deal with the angel items. Um, which happens, albeit rarely. The soul is pushing these enemies away, man. Are you seeing this? This is freaking me the fuck out. I didn't know it did that. It makes it... No wonder Carrion Queen was so freaking annoying. Try to sneak in behind to hit it. Oh, sorry, that's uh, not going to be possible. Am I losing my mind here? Okay. I mean, I was really, really hoping for a guppy item. Or any damage-based item would be fine. Yeah, that was a great use of a key. I've been saving it for so long, then just walk it into the freaking room there. Just give us a deal with the devil, and... Just give me fucking mom's knife, man. Sometimes I'll be cute about it. Oh, give me piercing shots and technology and homing tears. Nah, dude. We don't need piercing shots in that equation anyway. That's just silly. What we need is, uh... We need a, a lot of damage stacked up quickly. And it, if the damage were independent of our rate of fire, that would be for the best. It doesn't happen all that often. There's only a couple items in the game capable of accomplishing that. I'm sure you can name uh, a couple of them. Even Brimstone, like, Brimstone will be a huge get for us if we get it. But our rate of fire is so bad that I really think it wouldn't be that good. Right, we can't go in there because I'm an idiot. Um, fair enough. Let's just twist the knife here by giving me another key room that I have the resources to actually access and use appropriately. At the same time, we're nigh on killable on this run. I will give you that. This is going... There's no doubt at this point. This will be the longest rebirth episode. We're at 43 minutes, depths one. That's... It's sad. I'm a sad man right now. I hate these enemies, man. I'm having a terrible time with these guys. The soul... Look at how fast the speed bonus was based on my timing there. Hey, congrats. You timed it properly. Yeah, just kill him that way. That's the easier way to fucking do it. Devil card. Huge. Hanged man. Probably over it at this point. Suck on this gish. I'm going to use the devil card because I have no faith in my actual ability to deal damage. This is the rare run. You know how I talk about, it. hey, you know, there's runs where you're good against bosses and runs where you're good against the enemies that lead the bosses. This is the rare run, or I don't think we're good at either of them. Or at least, you know, to put a positive spin on it, we're of equivalent quality. And the quality will just not bear mentioning here. We are, with a devil card, we're not useless. As you can see, capable of, uh... 
taking out Gish. Very, very slowly. But Gish is relatively tanky, but we also have a Devil card. I'll admit this run has been a lot of incessant complaining, but... I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I've admitted it. That's the that's the conclusion to draw from there. There's your return statement. Um, and another Angel Room. Please God. Godhead. Oh, you dick. You fucking dick. Okay. Again, I was told that the key pieces do not represent... Um, precedent. For a deal with the devil. So I'm really hoping that that is indeed the case. I gotta blow you up, man. I need keys. Oh, you're a dick too. You're all dicks. You're a dick. Hang the man. We got strength cards. We got all that. You'll never treat me like this, will you, Coffee? No! Okay, well that's like probably a sign of mental illness that should be looked at. Please. Oh, I forgot that that's useless. As are pretty much those, but hey, spiders. Just give me a key, man. Don't fuck me out of this item room. This item room is going to be something good. It has to be. Because us not getting into it would make it more hilarious for the people watching at home. Did we even look at this seed? There you go, there's our seed. 3XFYZQWB. Warner fucking brothers right now. Oh my god. I, I'm i losing it. Jaw's starting to hurt quite a lot. You don't expect the 46 minute Isaac run. On the fucking Depth Swan, man. Please, they didn't give me keys, they gave me Mom's Pearl. As if I need more survivability, but it does beat Liberty Cap. Probably. I hate, this is, I've said it on so many occasions. It's the worst kind of Isaac run. Limited damage, huge HP. The survivability is off the charts, we gotta go, man. I mean, there's one room left. Fuck it, we'll do it, we have to do it. Big thanks to Guppy's Tail, the, uh... True MVP of this run. Most valuable piece of fucking garbage that I hate forever. Well, I guess that'll do it. I've always said that the item room shop and the uh, viable deal with the devil or angel room are overrated anyway. We got little gish. What do we care? I'm losing it. I gotta go take an Advil. Freaking teeth are starting to rattle around inside of my head like that one Ren and Stimpy episode. All right, let me take a second here. I'm gonna just check on something. All right. I was checking on Twitter. You know, I'll say it. I got a lot of tweets and I was like, what's going on with that? Is everything okay? Everything's okay. People who know me know that's the only way to reach me and if you need to talk to me quickly. They'll be like, oh, you know, it's an emergency? Send Ryan a tweet, he'll notice. Two of spades. Exactly like one room too late. I love it. That's just ridiculous. We can do this, man. Like, we can still win this run. The question is whether or not I want to, you know? You reach that point sometimes, you're like, fuck it, I don't care. Kill me, I don't care, and my life, and my soul means of interacting with the universe. I want you to do it, but... You know, that's the real danger zone. In Isaac, when you reach the point in which you're like, I would rather lose. Just kill me. But I'm not at that point yet. I still am I'm full of a zest and a, a vigor for life that can't be overstated. As much as I kind of made fun of that little Gish pickup, I shouldn't have, because little Gish is decent. And also, the fact that we can slow these enemies means that we can actually attack them, which is a nice change of pace. I find that when you're able to attack enemies, it makes it a lot easier to kill them. So, I'm happy about that. This is our last shop, so I'm not going to fuck with your brain. Uh, greed will be inside of there. Maybe Super Greed, if the game wants to be like, Hey, it's not Greed, it's Super Greed. Gotcha. It's not Greed. It's, uh, it's a hive mind. We'll buy it. Why did I buy the Steam sale? Because it's the same price. Or no, if we we paid 15 and 7 instead of 15 and then we'll buy this. Oh, we can't. Oh, we'll buy this just to see what it is. Oh, that's a good one. Um, okay, we'll leave. I shouldn't have bought the Steam sale there, is the end result. Why even buy, um... Why even buy Hive Mind when I have no flies? 
Dude, I gotta throw every single Hail Mary in the fucking Ask Madden playbook right now. If, uh... If we get Guppy, all of a sudden this becomes even better. Rotten Baby becomes even better. Infestation 2 becomes even better. You gotta try. Abel continues to just be able. Oh, that's a big one. Are you a wizard? Uh, that, that's probably like a game winner there, if I'm being 100% honest with you. Uh, we've been to our item room and our shop. As usual, they were bastions of quality, the likes of which we've never seen before. If you thought it was hard to hit these enemies before, you were right, but also, now it's gonna be harder. Little Gish, I'm relying on you for most of the damage here. If you could be so kind as to help me out. Just, at least we have Holy Mantle. Give me a fucking orbital. On what percentage of runs do I get Sacrificial Dagger or Cube of Meat or Ball of Bandages or fucking, you know, Revenge Fly? Anything, man. This is ridiculous. There are no tools with which to succeed on this run except having a lot of HP and having it be very difficult to take that HP away from me. It's absurd. I'm losing my mind here. I don't care, man. Hit me. We can't be killed. Is this what... When people are like, I wouldn't want to live forever because it would be sad. Is this what they're thinking that living forever? Is this eternal life? Ray Kurzweil, is this the singularity? Am I inside of it right now? Fifty-one god damn fucking shit-eating minutes. Please, lord, save me from myself. How many flies can you summon on a per second basis? Oh, what's that? Uh, you can't calculate that high because the number has never existed in any context in the world or in theory? Oh, okay, that's cool. Let's just uh, put Ryan in a room with exactly that number of flies and, uh, you know, have him have at it. He'll, he'll grok it out for us. Good lord. Oh, yeah, well, there we go. Great deal there. Please. It, I don't care. Just don't, no more defensive items. But also, no more deals with the angel that are just eternal hearts or spirit hearts. That shit is just patronizing. That's actually probably a pretty good deal if we're gonna have to use bombs to kill enemies, which would not surprise me. We're still like two-shotting these enemies. It just takes 20 minutes to actually get those two shots out. And of course it was a... We started this run at 20 minutes, because I died twice. That's on me. I don't think we want either of these, to be honest with you. Maybe we'll st save this one. Um, and then, we had a 32 minute long run to get down to Mom. Literally like double the length of time. Maybe not double the length of time of average, but like 1.5 times the average length of time. Why must you be so cruel, eyes and gods? And you're, you have the ultimate form of cruelness. Because you're attempting to be kind at the same time by giving me these super good defensive items. I don't appreciate it. I understand. It's like, you know, you're killing me with kindness right now. I hate it. But, we could succeed. How? I don't know. Don't ask questions. Just shoot. Here's how bad a rate of fire is. When the foot comes down, if I have recently fired a shot, I cannot get out another shot by the time the foot goes up. Our shot speed combined with tier stat is so bad, the shot will either travel too slowly, even if I'm right next to the foot, or uh, just simply won't get out in time. We got two out in time that time. I guess I'm extremely lucky. I don't know who to thank for that. And we got another one out there. I don't care, man. Hit me more. At least give me, like, bloody lust if you're going to saddle me with this shit. There we go. Blackheart. That's, like, our best damage dealer right there. We got a long way to go until we get to the next one, though. We're gonna fucking win this run, and I'm gonna be so salty about it. Another angel room. It's gotta be Sacred Heart Godhead, man. Oh, you fucking... Ultimate asshole! Why do you hate me and everything that I stand for? I hate it, man. This is a long video, man. Your life has changed over the course of this video. You're not the same person you were at the start. 
You've, hey, I'll just put on a Northern Lion video while I do my assignment. Shit, I finished my assignment. There's still nine hours to go in the video. What do I do? Well, I don't know. I don't have an answer for you. Learn a skill or something. Uh, so I use the Sun card. Traditionally speaking, that's a terrible play. You should save it for needing full health later, but I really, really wanted to see where I was going to save myself a little time on this floor. And this is going to save us a lot of time, actually. Greed, just go fuck yourself, man. Nobody cares about your ethos and the code of morals for which you stand because you're an asshole about it. You're not just a, you don't just have a differing opinion, you're being militant and like a jerk, basically. Okay. Crawl space. No. Thank, thank you for the spirit heart. It's extremely valuable, but not as literally valuable as those three cents are. This is it. This is our last likely deal with the devil. And by deal with the devil, I mean inevitably a deal with the angel with like two spirit hearts on it. Um, I'm pretty excited about that. I think now would be a really good time to give us holy water. It would really tie the run together. We'll fight Mama Gertie first. Uh, as someone who can't fly, I always find that the Mama Gertie fight is, is really easy and fair. Thank you, the soul. I gotta, you know, again, give credit where credit's due. The soul has been great for us. So many freaking familiars flying around here. I can't... Ugh, I can't uh, tell where the spikes are. But I can never tell where the spikes are in general anyway, so I guess we shouldn't get too concerned about it. The fight's actually gone pretty well. We did lose Holy Mantle early, but... And that's going to be a little bit of extra damage there. Please, please just die before I get hit. Ah, uh, okay, we're fine. One more hit. Good. It's a deal with the angel. I hate everything. You know what? Enjoy this screen for a minute. I'm going to go get some more coffee. I guess, you know, you be careful what you wish for, you know? Down to the next floor, I'm really excited about this revelation here. Let's do it. The worst part about it is we still farkin' aren't gonna lose. The game can't kill us. The holy water pickup, dare I say it? I'm gonna say it. Northern Line, don't do it. I'm gonna say it, man. Just say it. I'll lay it out. I think Holy Water is one of our best damage dealers. Did he just say that? Did he just say Holy Water is one of his best damage dealers? Is this guy okay? I don't know, man. I thought I knew at one point, but now I'm adrift in a sea of uh, existential quandary that uh, I don't have any answers to. What are you guys up to? You know, it's Thursday probably. What are you doing this weekend? Cool, can I come? Um... Hear that new Mad Max movie is pretty good. I saw the Avengers: Age of Ultron last night. That was it was a fun movie. I had a good time with it. I really like Mark Ruffalo. I think he's a good actor. I think he does well as the Incredible Hulk. Spoilers. But it's hard being at the movie theater, you know, when you just got your wisdom teeth taken out. Because like two of the things they tell you are like no hard foods, especially popcorn, and don't use a straw. So I'm like, oh, hey, can I have a all right, can you blend a banana and some applesauce for me and then give me a spoon with which to eat this new concoction? They did not do that. Which is maybe for the best because it would have been a hundred dollars because what's the deal with m movie concession prices? They're expensive. Please. Save me for myself. Oh, I'll just do two quick uh, Isaac videos before the NLSS. They couldn't possibly be longer than the length of my life up to the point at which I'm recording the video. Turns out that, that was a it was a mistaken assumption. 
That's on me, I suppose. It's a long, uh, it's a long flipping episode here. To be fair, it would be shorter if I hadn't died twice at the start of it. But that's the reason I'm actually trying my butt off here. Because I, I can't lose three times in one episode. I'll just lose all faith in my own abilities here. Oh yeah? You didn't like those two runs you started with? How about this one then? The game's ultimate fuck you for me being insulting to the gifts that it started me with. I suppose. Helped out a little. Helped out a little. Yeah, give me poison touch, please. That gives me a weapon I can use. We gotta... This is guerrilla fucking warfare here. Give me something. Alright, well, you can just do that as well. Hey, a full speed of orbitals. Oh god, Tammy's head! We suck so bad, but Tammy's head at least gives us a little bit of killing power at the start of a room. All is forgiven. No... Yeah. We've got to. Oh, okay. Sorry, I guess. Um, it's somewhat competent. We can live with it. Our life might not be completely ruined. Yo, familiars, stop fucking up my game here. Where did that bomb go? I place it, and then it gets pushed around like a fucking Matchbox 20 song. I'm not interested in talking about Rob Thomas right now for the first time in my life. I'm over my Thomas period. If we're going to talk about a Thomas, it better be Dave Thomas, creator of the Wendy's original spicy chicken sandwich. It's fucking delicious. Probably one of the top two fast food sandwiches of all time, and I will fight anybody who says otherwise, but I won't need to because nobody says otherwise. Yeah, walk on the spike. See if I give a shit. I'm unkillable. I'm a sinner who's probably going to sin again. Ed, forgive me for things I don't understand. And please just give me a small rock. Gish don't kill my vibe. Gish don't kill my vibe. I can kill an enemy from two pixels away. I got mascara, got the mantle. I could share it, but today I'm thinking Gish don't kill my vibe. Anyway. What am I even doing there? You know, we got a lover's card. Ooh, ooh, good. Yeah, do I really want to do the boss trap room? Mm, no. No, I do not. This is Tammy's head, man. It's the savior we've we've both needed and asked for. It's a happy marriage. Ah. Well, if we can use the enemies to kill one another, that's, that's a nice step for us. I could go get that spirit heart, but we're going to pick up another one every single room anyway, apparently. Not complaining about that, by the way. That's that's a good thing. Holy shit, are we actually gonna... Like, we can finish off a room in less than a minute here. That's a staggering revelation of an Assassin's Creed level. Assassin's Creed revel... You know what's up. Copy. Whatever, dude. You happy? Oh, that was a little bit underwhelming. Kind of assumed we'd be able to do a little bit more damage uh, to Mom's heart there. Let's throw some bombs in. We still have no offensive orbitals. That's what burns me up the most, man. Because that would be the easiest, most fun way to make this Holy Mantle full suite of orbitals thing work out. Full suite of, like, defensive orbitals. But we got no offensive orbitals. I can't do anything with these. There's no words on it. So we'll use, uh, 12 bombs to... All of our bombs to try to kill Mom's heart here. And, you know, do so very slowly. We're on the road to nowhere. Oh, come on inside. We're gonna live to the fucking chest. And then the chest is gonna give us just enough to act like it fucking carried us. And I'm gonna get no credit. People are gonna hate this run because I'm complaining all the time. And I'm gonna have to face my inevitable mor mortality and... Oh, beautiful. I'm gonna have to face my inevitable mortality. And then people will be like, Oh, well, you got the key. Why didn't you fight Mega Satan? Shit. I don't even care. Curse of the Unknown. We're unkillable. So, you know, we, there is no Curse of the Unknown for us. We can't die. Why am I opening these? Because I'm a bad dude who doesn't give a shit about anything right now because the game doesn't give a shit about me. This is what happens when you feed a stranger scrambled eggs in the Alps. A bit of a deep cut reference there. Um, good, good, good. No, not so good, I guess. Um, 
No. You can't just take that and then leave. You have to use another bomb, which we can't do. So really, I think the way you swang this run is you do uh, Tammy's head as if it were an orbital. You stand right next to the fucking enemy in the hopes that you hit like four out of six Tammy's headshots. We gotta save some keys. Like, let's not be stupid here. I can't believe this. Oh, lovely. That's all right. Tarot card, man. Joker. Joker me up. Why do you build me up, Edmund, baby, just to let me down? And turn my undies brown, and then worst of all, no bandage ball, baby, when I need it most. And this run is toast. I need... I'm trying to think of an item that rhymes with it. I need... I need to... I need knife. More than anything, baby, you know that I have from the start. So build me up, Edmund, baby, don't break my fart. We got plenty of time. Kill Monster 2 takes an hour or two. I can't wait. To see what's in the mines. Hey, hey, hey. That's Spelunky. But hey, you know, it kind of worked there for a little bit. I'm not taking Broken Onk. Oh, oh, fantastic. I can't, man. You've rendered this situation untenable. You poisoned the well already with your... With your ill will. We did not begin this Isaac run in good faith, apparently. You had a hidden agenda. Put my heart in a blender and still I surrender. Is that that is like a Limp Biscuit song, right? I didn't just my brain has not just become so biscuit infused that I came up with that myself. I'm pretty sure that's Nookie. Okay, this is our perfect room right here. Good lord. Okay, there we go. Stand right next to him. That did like a third of his health, man. Please. I'm, I'm running out of my exhaustive one-hit wonder based music library here. Duran Duran's not a one-hit wonder, okay? They didn't only have Hungry Like the Wolf, they had uh, Girls on Film and uh, Rio as well. Hungry Like the Wolf is pretty creepy, man. Dark in the city, night is a wire. I'll be upon you by the moonlight time. Oh, excuse me, what did you just say? I will call the police. Girl, I want you, give me a sign. Oh, she said no, but I'm still chasing behind. Do, 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 please go away. My boyfriend will beat you up. It's like, dude, take a hint, Duran Duran. You got this frame like some kind of animal kill. You know, that's not the way it's supposed to be. You're, you're creating a, a very conflicting message here for the youth of the nation, I think. In touch with the ground. I'm on the hunt. I'm after you. On second thought, I'm just gonna go home. My friend said that's really rude. Anyway. Like, oh no. Oh, we have one bomb. I... Uh, yes, it's gotta be this way. No, it's a special room! Oh, don't make me do it. Hammer, don't hurt him. We could sing fucking, like, in the God of Davida right now, and it would take the... We'd still be doing it by the time the room was over here. How could this happen to me? It's not all Eve's Mascara anymore, guys. Eve's Mascara took the brunt of the shame for a little while, but at some point, you gotta say, you know, no, you gotta, we gotta stand up for this kind of mistreatment. This is absurd. You're gonna give me two failed runs and then an hour and 15 minute long run? This injustice will not stand, man. I'm supposed to I'm supposed to do two Isaac episodes before we even start the NLSS today. 
I don't know if that's gonna be conceivable. I would like it to be, though. Oh my fuck it. We haven't even touched Super Heavy yet. Like, it, the health bar is 80% of the way down. We're like less than halfway through the room. It, it goes, this is the health bar. It goes up when you hit an enemy. When you hit an enemy, the health bar goes up. When you do damage to an enemy, the, the room as a whole appears to gain HP. You know why? Oh, there's a very easy mathematical... No, because fuck everything. That's why. That's why it happens. Because Super Envy says fuck you. And also, you have the soul. So when you get close to these guys, they move away. Which is not a problem, unless you fire, you know, once every 32 seconds. Which is basically the output that we're uh, aspiring to here. Maybe if we get a couple of tiers upgrades, we could actually reach that. For now, we literally fire one shot, and then it's... Uh, you know, has taken so much energy to charge up that it dilates time around it, thereby, you know, bending the space-time continuum and creating a situation in which we never actually fired any shots because it takes longer than the age of the universe to actually charge. Oh, I didn't even know you were still alive. At some point, we should probably stop hitting enemies because it only seems to make the room stronger. Don't forget, you're here forever. I <laughs> The only thing that can make this run worse right now, because we live in fucking backwards land, is nine lives. If do you see how much HP he just got when I hit him? He must have absorbed my shot or something absurd. How are there so many parts of your body still left alive? Do what you want, do what you want with my body. Mostly just want to disintegrate it fully. This is this is Northern Lion's fucking finest here. This is a fugue state. The room never ends. I hope you've enjoyed it. We're very slowly. Oh, look, we're almost done. Almost that HP bar is almost down. You right? No, no, we just doubled it. There you go. Yeah, there they they only got a little bit of HP back. Oh no, now they're back. Oh, you've done it now. They're almost back at full strength. Has this room literally taken like four minutes? This run is as long at this point as a rushed out the door Hollywood motion picture. This is like Men in Black 2's length. Oh, but on the bright side. We got shoot the whoop, guys, so don't sweat it. There's some kind of. I, this has got to be like a mini boss, right? Because we don't see what kind of room it is. What do you. Okay, well, on the bright side, this wouldn't have been the room we would have wanted to go to anyway, because it's definitely a dead end. <coughs> ah, that really hurts the gums. You don't realize how violent a sneeze is until you have uh, four teeth wrenched from your jawbone. But, I thought, did I just place the bomb so poorly? Oh, fantastic. Joker? No, nothing. I don't even know why I asked, to be honest with you. Holy crap. This is, this is hell. This is what hell is like, and we're in it, man. Oh, our fifth pretty fly. I'm pretty excited by this stunning revelation. I hit none of them. And we're still gonna win. That's so fucked up. You should be happy, Northern Lion. You should be happy. You're gonna win this run, man. I'm not happy. I'm not happy because now I know that these kinds of runs exist in the world. There is some evil in the world. I woke up today thinking we lived in a fair and just universe. I will go to bed with a splinter of chill in my heart, knowing that that, and I don't mean chill in the, the selfie generation kind of way. I mean chill in the HP Lovecraft something you know, wicked this way comes kind of way. Holy shit. We hit one enemy with our staggering array of enormous shots there. Now we just have to fight, like, the boss in the game who has the second most HP. So, I'm not concerned about this. I think it should be over in uh, a matter of decades. And then we'll get to open all four items on the chest. The RN Jesus is good, my friends. The RN Jesus is good. Are you telling me we get to go down for the first time ever and open all of the chests on the chest? Are you fu- What kind of just universe do we live in where I can actually access all of the opportunities available to me? Now all we have to do is hope against hope that they're actually good. 
the soul, admittedly, really helping out here. I'm not sure if you've noticed. I'm actually going to move up slightly so little Gish maybe can land a shot in there. I don't care. Hit me. Angel Fetus, if you want to get in here and hit me, fucking get in here and hit me. Put your money where your goddamn mouth is. I'm done. My shit is... I've had it up to here. I'm not pointing at my head because I have both hands on the keyboard right now, but you get the idea. It's, it's up high. It's close to my brain, which is the tipping point. Why didn't I move there? Why don't you go kiss my mother with that mouth so she knows what true intimacy feels like? Is this gonna hurt? Yeah, okay, so we should not have stood there again. But the first time, you gotta admit, that worked out better than you expected. The soul is all of a sudden the greatest item that has ever been created in any video game ever. I can't believe we're gonna make it to the chest. I can't believe we're gonna beat the chest. I can't believe that I can't believe it. I'm... I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without damage. I really would like to have some more damage. A one-note song. The theme is damage. I'd really like to take less than an hour and a half. How's it going, Isaac? How's Martha? She's good. Oh, that's good. How are the kids? Oh, that's cute. You know, they're getting to that age. I know, man. You know, you don't like the weather here? Just wait 10 minutes. Okay, down to the next floor. Down to the next goddamn floor. Oh, Curse of the Unknown. Polyphemus D fucking 4. Book of Shadows 20. Oh my fucking god, they did it. You did it. You, you won the game for me. You did it. Why'd you do it? Why did you have to do it? I fucking hate you. I hate you so much, Mega Satan. I wish you nothing but the worst in this life. That's our rate of fire, by the way. In case you were curious, Northern Lion, why aren't you shooting? Oh, I am. I'm I'm holding the button down to do damage at the quickest rate uh, possible. You might not have noticed because um, perhaps you uh, got regular age onset. Alzheimer's disease while waiting uh, for every shot to land. That's acceptable. I'm not using Tammy's head because I'm saving Tammy's head for the moment that he reaches like the second phase. I'm thinking when he reaches the second phase, we uh, use it and hopefully just kill him instantly. But I have a feeling it's going to be a very underwhelming amount of damage. I am very displeased that I'm not going to be able to do another uh, episode in advance of the NLSS. And fuck some, this run is so long, it actually fucked up my work day. Now I gotta be like, ah, oh, shit. Gonna be, this run has made me less productive on the whole. At least, you know, we are doing a ton of damage. If we fucking die now, I have no, I don't know what I'm gonna do, man. We're not even on like the difficult era of enemies. We still got like angel statues and we have not really like improved our damage at all since encountering the first ones. All right, and we got one super envy fight left. This might be a good opportunity to actually use the uh, Tammy's head, but I'm gonna resist. Thank God for Curse of the Unknown as well, right? Like, just, just keep it fair. I will say 2020 plus Polyphemus, but this is how, if you didn't think this run was fucked up and you just thought I was complaining, we picked up 2020 plus Polyphemus, and look at look at our incredible DPS output. It only takes us about 45 seconds to kill Super Envy. One Super Envy, by yes, by itself, of course. Oh, there's still one of you. Fantastic. No bombs either. That would, you know, we don't want to hand me the win. You need bombs. You some kind of scrub tier piece of crap? Go back to Bronze League. Alright, this is the best part. Huge fan. Huge fan of this. Well, my favorite part of this part is that you don't get any uh you don't get any consumables. No no chance for uh, any consumables here. You want some HP? Why don't you go to the fucking HP store? There's no HP for you here. Hey, stop that. I asked politely. Stop resisting. 
like, I... <laughs> I have to get in there! So we're, like, exclusively aggroing the brimstone shot. What do we got? What do we got? Yeah, okay, angel statues. In touch with the ground, I gotta see a court-appointed psychiatrist. Turns out my behavior was really off-putting. I'm sorry I didn't realize social norms. I've gotten a hobby. I'm a philatelist. Collecting stamps instead of hunting humans. I don't care, man. Hit me. You can't kill that which is already dead. I think we've gone through all the waves now. We only have world's biggest asshole Mega Satan and Mega Satan, you know, phase two. Get your get your hands out of the freaking way. Yo, what is this? The slalom in the Olympic Winter Games? Fuck it. Kill me. I hate it. I love you, though. I can't believe you watched this whole episode if you're still here, or at least skip to the end. I hate myself. I hate this run. I'll be back with another one, though. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Uh, but for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.